this is one of those videos that did not go the way I thought it was going to go. Uh, this was originally going to be a review video for uh, this camera right here. This is a Fujifilm X70 and uh, this is a camera that I used when it came out and haven't really used since. But I remember liking it a lot more than its replacement, the XF10. Uh, and I was able to get my hands on one a couple of weeks ago for review and uh, brought it along with me on a quick trip I was taking to San Diego and then on to shoot an air show in Yuma, Arizona. But I ended up cutting that trip short. I actually came home on Friday. I'm recording this on uh, Sunday the 15th uh, of March. And the reason, obviously, is the uh, COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, it's been a really interesting few days for me, uh, and I think for everybody. Uh, but I'll just share some of my experience with you in what I've seen as somebody who had to travel during the escalation of this viral outbreak in North America. I know it's already really affected other parts of the world, but we're just sort of starting to see its full effects here. Um, so I went to San Diego last Wednesday, the 11th, uh, flew down, spent one night in Mission Bay, had a beautiful hotel room at uh, the Hyatt Regency Mission Bay. The hotel was essentially empty and uh, I got an upgrade to this absolutely insane uh, Oceanside suite, which was about a $500 a night room. Uh, and I don't think I paid more than 200 Canadian dollars for the room that I had reserved. And uh, I noticed that there was nobody else on my floor. And this was a, a separate building from the main tower of this hotel. Uh, it was quite a, quite a big floor, a long, long building. Not a soul to be seen. Um, I had... Uh, breakfast in the restaurant at the hotel. There was one other table being served. Uh, it was a weekday morning, so, you know, whatever. And uh, obviously not a super busy month for travel to California. March, I don't think, but, I mean, it's always nice in California. Um, stayed the night there. Uh, the next day, got up, did some running around, ended up going to the Air and Space Museum in Balboa Park, which was excellent. Uh, and then my mom and dad were driving out from Yuma to pick me up because they actually spend the winters there to avoid the, uh, the cold up here in Canada. And uh, on their way, the air show that I was supposed to go shoot was canceled. And at the time I thought, well, I'm still gonna go because uh, I'll spend some time with my parents. I haven't seen them in a few months. And uh, we had some lunch at uh, Mission Beach and then got in the car and headed for Arizona. By the time we got to, uh, where were we? El Centro, I think. We had learned that uh, the province that I live in here in British Columbia in Canada had decided to impose a 14-day self-quarantine for people returning from the United States uh, just because of the way the virus is being handled in that country, or not handled, I guess you can say. Um, it, it was completely voluntary, and I'm actually still not sure. I am quarantining myself, um, but it's not mandatory. And um, I'm a little bit unsure of my work situation this coming week. I'm sort of dealing with that on the side, and it's been a little bit stressful. But uh, I made the decision right there to uh, just scrap the rest of my plans and get the first flight I could get um, out of Yuma, which ended up being... Um, a four airport, 10 hour long adventure to get back to Vancouver that day. So I flew from Yuma to Phoenix, then Phoenix to LAX, LAX home. Um, I went through security in Yuma and had just a regular TSA screening. And um, I just had carry on luggage. So uh, that was checked in with me from Yuma all the way to Vancouver. Now I went through all of these airports, there was no additional screenings, there was no monitoring for people that looked sick, uh, there was no, there was nothing, there was nothing. Um, some of the people working in the airport weren't even wearing gloves or masks and I, 
Yeah, uh, I, I'm shocked. I really am at how this is being handled. Um, things are really starting to escalate now. Uh, it's Sunday at about quarter after seven uh, in the evening, and things have definitely changed considerably throughout today and yesterday. Um, when I got to Vancouver, uh, I thought that there would be, again, more screening, but there wasn't. There was an additional question on my customs declaration, an electronic um, kiosk that you use to make your customs declaration, things you're bringing back into the country. They added one extra question, which is whether you had been to Italy, Iran, or the original part of China around Wuhan, where the virus originated, and uh, that was it. So you say no to that. Uh, and then I went and stood in the lineup to show them my passport and talk to a person. And all the, the border guard asked me was, uh, where have you been? And I said, Yuma. And he said, have a nice day. And I walked through. So yeah, to say I am uh, underwhelmed by the seriousness to which this is being uh, treated by authorities in both the United States and Canada. Um, it doesn't seem in Canada like federally and provincially things are really um, meshing well together and also from a civic level, um, you know, city government uh, and provincial government, they seem to have some definite differences in the way that they're handling this as well. Um, yeah, so what, it, what initially was going to be an X70 review, plus I was going to shoot the air show and do a whole thing about that, about uh, shooting an air show with a uh, specific camera and lens, which I'll do at a later date, so we'll save it. But uh, uh, none of that happened, and uh, I'm glad to be home. I'm actually um, not even staying with my wife and child because uh, I've been out of the country and on a bunch of airplanes just to get home. Uh, I'm not sick, I don't have any symptoms, but just out of an abundance of caution, uh, I have somewhere else that I can stay. And uh, luckily, uh, I seem to have managed to bring along a YouTube studio with me somehow. But uh, yeah, um, so I don't really know um, where this is going, where this whole virus thing is going. Uh, but what I have seen in North America, particularly in the United States in terms of response to it, has been pretty horrifying, and uh, I hope that it gets sorted out quickly. I know here in Canada uh, our testing numbers are outstanding, particularly here in British Columbia we are testing a lot of people. and. Uh, I, w I really, really hope that uh, America can get this figured out because the trajectory that they're on at the moment is, is horrifying. So um, just take care of yourselves, you guys. Make sure you're washing your hands and practicing social distancing. If you're not sick, don't go to work, don't go out. Try not to go to bars or restaurants as, as much as you want to support local businesses. You could literally be talking about your life or somebody else's life. If you are carrying the virus, even if you don't feel sick, there is a chance. So uh, this is our chance to really make a difference by, um, by listening to what doctors have to say and uh, acting on it. So uh, be well and uh, I'll see you when everything gets back to normal here and we'll start talking about cameras again. Bye.